All right, so I made a post on Reddit about this uh, TikTok scroller ring uh, that you can use for a Bluetooth page turner remote. Um, a couple people had some issues installing it, so I figured I'd make a quick video to show how you go about uh, installing both the um, uh, Bluetooth page turner module made by Thomas Sowell, uh, as well as how to get the configuration file onto uh, the Kobo. So first off, go to this link here. I'll have it in the description. Um, and then you can click here on releases and download this Kobo root.tgz file. Once you click on it, it will download. Uh, and then if you're using the ring that I have, which is the, uh, which shows up in the Bluetooth menu as D01 Pro, uh, I will have a link to a configuration file for it. Uh, a few people were trying to create this file in Notepad um, and were having some difficulty with it. What I didn't realize was uh, Windows 11 doesn't really let you save files without the TXT extension anymore. Um, it auto uh, saves it that way. So uh, I'll have a link where you can just download the configuration file. All right, so here I've downloaded two files the Kobo root.tgz. This is the uh, Bluetooth page turner module, uh, as well as the config file. First, what we're going to do is transfer this Kobo root.tgz file onto the Kobo, and that will install uh, the page turner module. Uh, so let me go ahead and connect my uh, Kobo. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and connect my Kobo via USB. This is the Libra color. Here we go, type C, try and do this one handed. Okay, a pop up will show up saying, Do you want to connect to your computer? I will connect. So now that we okay, so now the Kobo e reader is connected via USB. We can see this Kobo e reader uh, right here. These are the contents of the Kobo itself. To install the Bluetooth page turner, we're going to go to dot Kobo and we're going to copy this Kobo root dot tgz file over. And now that it's ejected, it will start updating automatically. Uh, once you have a Kobo root.tgz file in that .kobo folder, it uh, automatically detects it and will install the uh, file. It'll go through a few of these screens. This symbol uh, probably means do not power off the device while it's installing um, the new update. And now we can see that the system is rebooting. All right, so now my Kobo is powered back on. I'll plug it back into the system and then hit connect. All right, so now the Kobo uh, is reconnected to the computer and you can see on the root directory of the Kobo e-reader, there's now this .btpt folder. Uh, if you see this folder, that's a good indicator that you installed the Bluetooth page turner properly. So if we open up the .btpt folder, uh, this is where the configuration file is going to live. Uh, so we can go ahead and extract this. I've included the D01 Pro. Uh, this is how my TikTok ring shows up uh, in the Bluetooth. You'll see later. Um, some people said that there shows up as just D01. I don't have a D01 to confirm that this will work, but you can try to remove the space PRO at the end and just say, and just call it D01 and copy that over if your ring shows up as D01. Uh, and that might make it work. Uh, so we can go ahead and copy this over to the .btpt folder. Uh, here you can see some people were having issues with Notepad uh, when they were trying to save it. It was appending .txt and wouldn't let you save it without that. Uh, that's why I kind of uh, supplied it as a .zip, and that way you'll have the file without any extension. Uh, so once we've copied it over to the .btpt page folder, we can go ahead and eject the Kobo. All right, so now I'm back on the Kobo reader. I have the config file uh, saved on here, and I have the TikTok uh, scroll ring. I'm going to open this up. Let's go ahead and in the menus, we'll go to settings, Bluetooth. We'll turn Bluetooth on. There we go. And let's see. Oh, I can just go ahead and uh, forget this. So you can see how it would look. So I will turn on the ring. You can see if it's flashing red and blue, that means it's in pairing mode. And 
This is scanning, so it will hopefully find uh, the ring shortly. Uh, if not, I guess I could go out and back in to manually initiate a scan. Here we go, uh, available as de devices, uh, the D01 Pro. So let's go ahead and connect that. Connecting. All right, so once this uh, LED turns off, this is still says connecting. I think it takes a little bit for it to update, but once the LED turns off, that means it's actually connected. Uh, this will eventually uh, update saying connected. There we go. And let's go back and exit this. And let's go to my books. We'll open up a book. All right, so now uh, we have this. So now I have the book open. I have the TikTok ring um, connected. If I press the up button, you can see that it has moved forward a page and if I press uh, that button again, you can see it goes uh, forward again and then this back button uh, will bring it back. Uh, so there are actually two modes on this ring. If it doesn't work right away, uh, if you press the up and down button at the same time, you'll see it flash purple. This is in kind of a, the, the TikTok mode where you can scroll on TikTok and pressing these buttons won't do anything. So if it doesn't do anything for you, oops, uh, press and hold these two buttons until you see the purple flashing lights. And then it should switch it back to this mode. And then you should be able to now um, press the button to change, change the page.